Hello, today we look at how we can create a Banano custom view. We will base our custom view from HTML5 elements just as an example. For this we will use the anchor element. We fire up the Banano custom view creator, we create a new project and also specify a prefix for our elements. Our element prefix is h5 because we want all our class names starting with h5. Now we need to create all the custom views that we will need for the library. Click on the menu button for the project to activate the components list. The element tag for our custom view is a, let's create this component. If we wanted to delete the custom view or component we can just easily click on the delete button for the component. Now it's time to add attributes, classes, styles and events for the custom view. Click on the menu for the custom view we want to process. On the custom view screen, we need to activate the attributes tab, we can select this on the left if it's not active. For each attribute we will click add, enter the attribute details and then save it. For this component we will just use the basic attributes for the anchor. We give the attribute a description and also specifies the options that should be displayed in the drop down for this property in the property bag. Now we will be able to see the source code for the custom view attributes. Let's click the B4X code tab. The code file has some predefined code in it and also includes the attributes we are adding for this custom view. The designer properties we selected have been added and a rest of other things needed to make this work. We have code to initialize the custom view. Based on the attributes we also set, these are read in the designer code. As an example, the anchor has a href attribute and also the text.
Additional code is also built to ensure that we are able to create the view via code. When a custom view is being created by code, it might not have been added to the page so it's important to rebuild it flexibly. In part 2 of this video, we will look at how we can add styles, classes, and events to our custom view creator and how this can consolidate into a nice working tool. Let's download the custom view so that we can see the code. These are later going to be saved in our project folder later on. We will import this file as is to our library project we are building. Thank you.